Renowned for his rugged good looks, deep voice, and commanding presence, the actor Jeff Chandler quickly became a fan favorite in Hollywood during the 1950s. His charisma and talent were on full display in films such as Broken Arrow, The Jayhawkers, and Merrill's Marauders, where he showcased his versatility and range as a leading man. With his unforgettable performances, Chandler left an indelible mark on the film industry and continues to be cherished by audiences to this day. His contributions to the world of cinema are a testament to his enduring legacy as a captivating and accomplished thespian. Let's delve into his remarkable career and explore the intricacies of his artistry. Born as Aragrell on December 15, 1918, in the bustling borough of Brooklyn, New York, the actor who would later become a household name had humble beginnings. His parents, Philip Grell and Anna, separated when he was just a child, leaving a young era to navigate the complexities of life. Despite the challenges he faced early on, Era found solace in his education. He attended Erasmus Hall High School, a vibrant institution that would later produce a number of notable alumni, including the talented Hollywood actress Susan Hayward. It was here that Era began to explore his passion for the arts, setting the stage for the remarkable career that was yet to come. Throughout his time at Erasmus Hall, Era was known for his charisma and talent, captivating his peers and teachers alike with his captivating performances. He honed his craft in school productions, developing the skills that would later make him a star in the world of film and television. As he stepped into the world of acting, Era would adopt the stage name Jeff Chandler, a name that would become synonymous with greatness in the years to come. But despite the fame and accolades that would follow, the actor never forgot his roots, remaining true to the values and work ethic that he had learned in his early years. In the end, it was this unwavering dedication to his craft, combined with his natural talent and charisma, that would make Jeff Chandler a true legend in the world of entertainment. From his humble beginnings in Brooklyn to his rise to stardom, the actor's journey is a testament to the power of hard work, determination, and a little bit of talent. Before becoming a well-known actor, the individual held various odd jobs to make ends meet. Among these jobs was working as a restaurant cashier, a role that helped him earn a living while pursuing his passion for the arts. The future actor had always been drawn to the world of drama and theater, and he was determined to hone his craft. To further his artistic training, he enrolled in the Fijian School of Dramatic Art, where he studied layout art. This demanding course of study required a significant investment of time and money, and the actor worked diligently to save up the necessary funds. He earned just 18 a week as a layout artist, but he was determined to make every penny count. Despite the challenges he faced, the actor remained focused on his goal of becoming a professional actor. He knew that it would take hard work, dedication, and a lot of practice to make it in the competitive world of theater and film. And so, he continued to work and study, honing his skills and preparing himself for the challenges that lay ahead. After completing his studies, the actor found work in radio before securing a position at a stock agency as a stage manager and actor. His passion for the stage led him to launch his own theater company, The Shady Lane Playhouse, in 1941. This venture allowed him to explore his creativity and hone his skills as a director and performer, further establishing his name in the world of theater. The Shady Lane Playhouse became a platform for new talents and a hub for artistic expression, contributing to the local arts scene in a significant way. The actor's dedication to his craft and his commitment to fostering new talent set the stage for a successful career in the entertainment industry. After serving his country during World War II, the actor decided to pursue a career in entertainment. He enlisted in the Army at the age of 22 and served for four years, rising to the rank of lieutenant. His military experience undoubtedly shaped his discipline and work ethic, which would later benefit him in his acting career. Once the war ended, the actor landed his first job as a radio actor in May 1946. He quickly gained acclaim for his role in the radio series Michael Shane, which showcased his talent and versatility as an actor. The show was popular among audiences, and the actor's performance was highly praised by critics and fans alike. Despite his success in radio, the actor was eager to transition to film and television. He worked hard to hone his craft and eventually made his film debut in the 1947 movie Johnny O'Clock. 
Although his role in the film was small, it was a significant step towards establishing himself as a serious actor in the industry. Over the next few years, the actor appeared in numerous films and television shows, gradually building his reputation as a talented and reliable performer. He became known for his strong screen presence and his ability to convincingly portray a wide range of characters. In the early 1950s, the actor's career reached new heights with his breakout role in the film Broken Arrow. His performance as Kachai's and Native American chief earned him critical acclaim and a nomination for an Academy Award. The film was a major success, and the actor's portrayal of Kachai's became one of his most iconic and enduring roles. Despite his success, the actor remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to work hard and take on challenging roles, cementing his place as one of the most respected and admired actors of his time. His contributions to the world of entertainment will always be remembered and cherished by fans and industry professionals alike. After finding success in radio, the actor known as Jeff Chandler made his film debut in 1947 with a one-line role as a criminal in the film Johnny O'Clock. Prior to this, he had already begun making a name for himself on the radio waves. However, it was his appearance in Johnny O'Clock that marked his first foray into the world of film. In the following years, the actor continued to take on minor roles in various films. He appeared in Mr. Belvedere Goes to College and The Invisible Wall, among others. These roles provided him with valuable experience and allowed him to hone his craft. One of the actor's earliest and most notable roles was as Chad Remington in the popular radio drama Frontier Town. This role marked a significant milestone in his career as he became the first actor to play the character. Frontier Town was a popular show and the actor's performance as Chad Remington was well received by audiences. Despite his success in radio and his early film roles, the actor was still relatively unknown in the industry. It would be several more years before he would become a household name. However, his early experiences in radio and film provided him with the foundation he needed to build a successful career in Hollywood. In 1948, the actor caught the attention of many with his role in the hit radio show Our Miss Brooks. His performance was so impressive that it opened doors for more opportunities in the industry. That same year, the actor was cast as an Israeli leader in Universal Studios' Sword in the Desert, which was a significant role that further established his name in the film industry. The actor's portrayal of an Israeli leader in Sword in the Desert was highly praised, and it was a role that required a great deal of skill and nuance. The film was a war drama that followed the story of a group of Jewish refugees who were attempting to enter Palestine during the British Mandate. The actor's performance was a crucial part of the film's success, and it helped to solidify his reputation as a talented and versatile performer. In addition to his work in Sword in the Desert, the actor also starred in the noir adventure Smuggler's Island in 1948. This film was a departure from his role in Sword in the Desert as it was a fast-paced adventure film that followed the story of a group of smugglers attempting to transport illegal goods to a remote island. The actor's performance in this film was once again highly praised, and it demonstrated his ability to excel in a variety of different roles. Throughout his career, the actor continued to take on a wide range of roles, showcasing his versatility and talent. His performances were always nuanced and compelling, and he quickly became one of the most respected, and admired actors in the industry. Despite his success, however, the actor remained humble and dedicated to his craft, always striving to improve and push himself to new heights. In conclusion, the actor's breakthrough role in Armis Brooks and his notable performances in Sword in the Desert and Smuggler's Island helped to establish him as a talented and versatile performer in the film industry. His ability to excel in a variety of different roles, combined with his dedication, and humility made him a beloved and respected figure in the industry and his legacy continues to inspire and influence actors to this day. In 1951, the actor demonstrated his versatility by playing a wide range of roles. He took on the part of a Polynesian leader in the film Bird of Paradise, showcasing his ability to adapt to diverse characters. That same year, he also played a boxer in Iron Man. The following year, the actor's versatility was once again showcased in the war movie Red Ball Express in 1952. 
The film followed the story of the massive truck convoys that supplied Allied forces moving across France following the D-Day invasion. Impressed by his talent, Universal offered him a new contract in 1952. The actor accepted the offer and went on to work on several movies under the studio. His career continued to flourish as he took on various roles, further establishing his reputation as a versatile actor. In 1954, the actor began feeling overwhelmed by his workload. He was in high demand, but the constant work was taking a toll on him. One of the films he was expected to star in was Six Bridges to Cross. However, feeling unable to handle the pressure, he refused to take on the role. The actor's conflicts with Universal, the studio he was signed with, were well known. His refusal to star in Six Bridges to Cross led to suspensions and further disputes with the studio. The actor's decision to prioritize his well-being over his work obligations was a bold one, but it came with consequences. Despite the tension with Universal, the actor was still sought after for major film roles. He was cast as Emperor Martian in the expensive epic Sign of the Pagan. The film was a significant production with a large budget and high expectations. The actor's role in the film was a crucial one, and he was determined to give it his all, despite the challenges he had been facing. The actor's experience with overwork and disputes with the studio serves as a reminder of the importance of work-life balance, even in the face of success and high demand. His ability to stand up for himself and prioritize his well-being, even in the face of consequences, is a testament to his strength and resilience as an actor. After finding success in acting, the actor decided to explore his musical talents. He began releasing records, showcasing his singing abilities to his fans. This new venture didn't stop him from continuing his work in film. In fact, he took on one of his most prestigious roles yet in the film Away All Boats. The actor not only played the lead role, but also produced the film through his company, Romer. This accomplishment highlighted the actor's versatility and dedication to his craft. As part of his contract with Universal, the actor still had two films left to make. He fulfilled his commitment to the studio by completing these final two projects. Through his hard work and determination, the actor was able to balance his musical pursuits with his film career and fulfill his contractual obligations. After making a name for himself in the industry, the actor decided to move to Colombia. It was here that he starred in the biographical film Gene Eagles alongside Kim Novak. His performance in this film was a turning point in his career, earning him recognition and opening doors at Universal. In 1957, the actor's hard work and talent paid off when he was named the 10th most popular male star in the United States by a motion picture exhibitor poll. This recognition was a testament to his popularity and the impact he had made in the film industry. Despite the success he found in Colombia, the actor remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to take on challenging roles and push himself to be the best he could be. His performances in various films and shows resonated with audiences and left a lasting impression on those who saw them. Throughout his career, the actor's work was marked by his versatility and commitment to his craft. He was a true professional, always prepared and dedicated to bringing his best to every role. His contributions to the film industry will be cherished for years to come. After facing health issues, the actor had to withdraw from the 1959 film operation Petticoat. This setback didn't stop him, however, and he soon moved on to his next project, The Story of David. This was a significant undertaking as it was filmed for American television and required travel to both London and Israel for shooting. Despite the challenges of working on location, the actor remained committed to his craft and delivered a strong performance in The Story of David. Following this, he appeared in Return to Peyton Place for Fox, further showcasing his talent and versatility as an actor. In addition to his work on Return to Peyton Place, the actor also made Merrill's Marauders for Warner Brothers. This film was a departure from his previous projects, as it was a war film that required intense physical preparation and dedication. Despite any lingering health issues, the actor proved himself up to the task and delivered a memorable performance. Throughout his career, the actor faced various challenges, including health issues, but he remained dedicated to his craft and continued to take on new and exciting projects. His work in the story of David, Return to Peyton Place, 
and Merrill's Marauders is a testament to his talent and perseverance as an actor. In 1946, the actor married actress Marjorie Hosel, and they went on to have two daughters. However, his marital life was not without its challenges. The actor became involved with actress Esther Williams, which ultimately led to his divorce in 1959. Apart from his personal life, the actor also faced physical challenges during his career. During the production of Merrill's Marauders, he suffered a back injury while playing baseball. The injury was severe enough to require surgery, which he underwent in 1961. Unfortunately, the surgery did not alleviate his pain, and he continued to suffer from back problems for the rest of his life. Despite these challenges, the actor remained committed to his craft and continued to work in the film and television industry. His dedication to his work and his ability to overcome personal and physical obstacles are a testament to his strength and determination as an individual. The actor's legacy continues to live on through his work, which continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. In 1961, the actor underwent surgery for a spinal disc herniation, a common medical issue that can cause severe pain and discomfort. The operation was intended to alleviate the pressure on the actor's nerves and improve his quality of life. However, the surgery led to complications that required multiple follow-up procedures. Despite the medical team's best efforts, the actor's health continued to decline. On June 17, 1961, he passed away at the age of 42 due to a blood infection complicated by pneumonia. The sudden and untimely death of the actor shocked his fans and colleagues who had admired his talent and charisma on the big screen. The actor's medical complications and subsequent death were a tragic end to a successful career in the film industry. His contributions to the world of entertainment will always be remembered, and his legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors and filmmakers to this day. The actor's life and career serve as a reminder of the fragility of life and the importance of taking care of one's health, even in the face of success and fame. At the time of his death, the actor was romantically involved with British actress Barbara Shelley. His passing was felt deeply throughout the industry, with over 1,500 people attending his funeral. Among the attendees were Paul Bear's Tony Curtis and Gerald Moore, who were close friends of the actor. The actor's contributions to the world of film were significant, and his absence was deeply mourned by his colleagues and fans alike. As a testament to his impact on the industry, he was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 1770 Vine Street. The actor's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame is a lasting tribute to his talent and his contributions to the film industry. It serves as a reminder of the many memorable performances he gave on the big screen and of the impact he had on those who worked with him and those who admired him from afar. The actor's funeral was a fitting tribute to a man who had touched so many lives. The outpouring of grief and support from his colleagues and fans was a testament to the high regard in which he was held in the industry. His passing was a great loss, but his legacy lives on through his work and through the memories of those who knew and loved him. In the golden age of Hollywood, one man stood out from the crowd, Jeff Chandler. Born on December 15, 1918, in Brooklyn, New York, Chandler began his career as a radio actor before transitioning to film. Chandler quickly made a name for himself with his rugged good looks and commanding presence. He starred in a number of successful films throughout the 1950s, including Broken Arrow, for which he received an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. But Chandler was more than just a handsome leading man. He was a talented actor who brought depth and nuance to every role he played. He was also a singer and a songwriter and even released an album of his own music. Despite his success, Chandler remained humble and down to earth. He was known for his kindness and generosity and was always willing to lend a helping hand to those in need. Tragically, Chandler's life was cut short when he died during surgery on June 17, 1961. But his legacy lives on through his films and music, which continue to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. Born Eric Grossel in Brooklyn, New York, on December 15, 1918, Jeff Chandler's journey to stardom began with a love for acting that was sparked during his high school years. His parents, who ran a small grocery store, encouraged his artistic pursuits. However, it was a teacher named Miss Amelia Venable who first recognized his potential 
and became a significant influence in his early life. Chandler's family was supportive of his dreams, but they couldn't provide the financial means to help him pursue them. Undeterred, Chandler worked various jobs to save money for acting lessons. He eventually enrolled in the Fijian School of Drama and Radio, where he met another influential figure, Sanford Meissner, a renowned acting coach who further honed his skills. During World War II, Chandler served in the United States Army, which exposed him to a diverse range of people and experiences. This broadened his horizons and deepened his understanding of human emotions, ultimately enriching his acting craft. After the war, Chandler returned to New York and began his career in radio, eventually transitioning to Broadway. His breakthrough role came in 1947 when he replaced Marlon Brando in the Broadway production of A Flag is Born. This opportunity led to his discovery by a Hollywood agent, paving the way for his successful film career. Throughout his life, Chandler remained grateful for the early influences and mentors who had helped shape his path. His success story serves as a testament to the power of determination, hard work, and the guiding influence of dedicated teachers and mentors. Born in Brooklyn, New York in 1918, Jeff Chandler's journey to acting began in his early years. As a child, he found solace in the stories told by his grandmother, which sparked his imagination and love for drama. However, it was a chance encounter with a high school teacher that truly changed his life. One day, while still in high school, Chandler was asked to fill in for a sick actor in a school play. His performance caught the eye of his English teacher, who recognized his potential and encouraged him to pursue acting. From that moment on, Chandler's passion for the craft grew stronger. After serving in the Army during World War II, Chandler decided to pursue acting professionally. He struggled at first, working odd jobs to make ends meet, but his determination paid off when he landed a role in a Broadway play, which led to more opportunities in theater and eventually in film. Chandler's breakthrough role came in 1950 when he played the lead in the film Broken Arrow, where he portrayed Kachai's The Apache Chief. His performance was widely praised and he became one of the most sought after actors in Hollywood. Despite his success, Chandler remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to take on challenging roles, always striving to improve his skills and deliver the best performance possible. In the end, it was Chandler's passion for acting that drove him to become one of the most respected and beloved actors of his time. His legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors to this day. Born in Brooklyn, New York, in 1918, Jeff Chandler faced numerous challenges on his path to becoming a successful actor. Financial struggles were a constant hurdle for the young Chandler. To make ends meet, he worked various jobs, from a truck driver to a singing waiter. Despite these hardships, he never lost sight of his dream to become an actor. In the early days of his career, Chandler encountered skepticism from the industry. At 5'9", he was considered too short for leading roles. Undeterred, he turned to radio, where his voice became his greatest asset. He honed his craft, perfecting his delivery and range, which eventually caught the attention of Hollywood. Chandler's breakthrough role came in 1950 when he played the lead in Broken Arrow, a film that required a tall, muscular actor to portray the Apache Chief Kachais. Despite initial doubts, Chandler's powerful performance won over audiences and critics alike, earning him an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Throughout his career, Chandler faced typecasting, often relegated to playing Native American roles. However, he refused to be limited by these stereotypes. He took on diverse roles, showcasing his versatility as an actor, and paving the way for more complex portrayals of Native American characters. Chandler's resilience and determination were the keys to his success. He turned obstacles into opportunities, using his creativity to find solutions and break down barriers. His legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors today, reminding us all that perseverance and hard work can lead to greatness. In 1947, Jeff Chandler's career reached a turning point when he signed a contract with Universal Studios. Initially cast in minor roles, his breakthrough came with the film Broken Arrow in 1950. Playing the Apache Chief Kachais, Chandler's nuanced performance challenged the stereotypical portrayal of Native Americans in Hollywood. Co-star James Stewart praised Chandler, stating he brought depth and dignity to the role, changing the way we viewed Native American characters. The success of Broken Arrow led to Chandler becoming a leading man, 
and he soon gained recognition for his versatility. In 1953, he starred in Female on the Beach, where critic Bosley Crowther of the New York Times noted, Mr. Chandler, with his rugged charm and surprising sensitivity, once again proves his range as an actor. Chandler's groundbreaking projects extended to television, where he starred in the popular series Colonel Flack from 1958 to 1960. His portrayal of a womanizing, quick-witted army colonel was a departure from his previous roles and showcased his comedic talent. Peers and critics alike applauded his ability to adapt to different genres. Throughout his career, Jeff Chandler's work transcended stereotypes and showcased his versatility as an actor. His breakthrough moments not only solidified his status as a leading man, but also paved the way for more complex and dynamic roles for Native American actors in Hollywood. Jeff Chandler, an actor known for his distinctive roles in Hollywood, had a unique artistic vision and process. He was born on December 15, 1918, and began his career in the entertainment industry as a radio announcer before transitioning to acting. Chandler's approach to acting was characterized by his meticulous preparation and attention to detail. He would immerse himself in the character he was playing, researching their background and motivations to create a believable and authentic performance. He once said, I try to become the character I'm playing. I try to think like him, act like him, and life is life. One of the things that made Chandler's style unique was his ability to bring depth and complexity to the characters he played. He often chose roles that allowed him to explore the darker aspects of human nature, and he was not afraid to portray characters that were flawed or morally ambiguous. Chandler's personal experiences and worldview were also reflected in his work. He was an advocate for social justice and used his platform as an actor to speak out against discrimination and inequality. He was also a veteran, having served in the United States Army during World War II and his experiences during the war informed many of his performances. One of Chandler's most iconic roles was that of Eyes in the 1950 film Broken Arrow. In this role, he played a Native American chief who forms an alliance with a white soldier played by James Stewart. The film was groundbreaking for its time as it challenged stereotypes and presented a nuanced portrayal of Native American culture. Chandler's artistic vision and process were shaped by his experiences, values, and beliefs. He was a thoughtful and dedicated actor who brought depth and complexity to every role he played. His unique approach to acting continues to resonate with audiences today. Jeff Chandler, an actor who left an indelible mark on the film industry, was born in Brooklyn, New York on December 15, 1918. Known for his versatility, Chandler's career spanned various genres, from westerns to romances, and his impact on storytelling remains palpable today. In the 1950s, Chandler emerged as a leading man, often portraying strong, complex characters. His breakthrough role as Koch Eyes in Broken Arrow demonstrated his ability to breathe life into historically significant figures. Noted film historian Jean Basinger praised Chandler's performance, stating, His portrayal of Koch Eyes was a game changer, challenging the status quo, and paving the way for more nuanced portrayals of Native Americans in film. Chandler's influence extended beyond his on screen performances. He directed and produced several films, showcasing his multifaceted talents. His production company, Jarpro, focused on creating high quality, thought-provoking films, setting a precedent for future stars to follow. As a leading man, Chandler's charm and charisma were undeniable. Actor and director Sidney Polak reminisced about watching Chandler's films as a young man Jeff Chandler had a magnetic presence that commanded attention. He was a true movie star and his influence on my generation of filmmakers cannot be overstated. Chandler's career was tragically cut short when he died during surgery on June 17, 1961. However, his legacy continues to resonate within the industry. His commitment to his craft and his dedication to creating meaningful, impactful films have inspired countless actors and filmmakers. In the words of film critic Leonard Maltin, Jeff Chandler was a trailblazer, pushing boundaries and challenging conventions. His contributions to the film industry are still felt today, and his influence will undoubtedly continue for generations to come. Beyond his successful acting career, Jeff Chandler had a rich personal life that reflected his values and interests. 
He was known for his love of nature and animals, which often influenced his work. In fact, he was an advocate for environmental causes and used his platform to raise awareness about conservation efforts. Chandler was also a philanthropist who supported various charitable organizations. He was particularly passionate about helping children in need. In 1953, he established the Jeff Chandler Foundation, which provided financial assistance to underprivileged children and supported children's hospitals. Chandler's personal values were deeply rooted in his upbringing. He was born in Brooklyn, New York, on December 15, 1918, to a family of Russian Jewish immigrants. His parents instilled in him the importance of hard work, perseverance, and giving back to the community. These values stayed with him throughout his life and informed his work both on and off the screen. Chandler's commitment to social causes extended beyond his philanthropic efforts. He was also a vocal advocate for civil rights and equality. In 1954, he was one of the first Hollywood actors to speak out against segregation and discrimination. He used his influence to promote positive change and make a difference in the world. Despite his busy career, Chandler always found time for his hobbies and interests. He was an avid photographer and enjoyed taking pictures of nature and landscapes. He also loved to travel and explore new places. His sense of adventure and curiosity often inspired his work and helped him to connect with his audiences. In the end, Jeff Chandler was not just a talented actor, but also a kind and compassionate human being. His personal values and interests informed his work and made him a role model for many. He will always be remembered for his contributions to the entertainment industry and his dedication to making the world a better place. Reflecting on the career of Jeff Chandler, one can't help but acknowledge his significant impact on the film industry. As a talented actor, he left an indelible mark with his versatile portrayals, particularly in Western and war films. His legacy continues to inspire aspiring professionals in the field. For those hoping to follow in Chandler's footsteps, he would likely advise pursuing training and education to hone one's craft. Building a solid foundation in acting techniques and theory is crucial. Additionally, gaining experience in various forms of performance, such as theater, television, and film, can broaden one's skills and marketability. Chandler might also emphasize the importance of resilience and persistence in the face of rejection and setbacks. The entertainment industry can be challenging, and maintaining a positive attitude and determination is essential to success. Finally, Chandler would likely encourage aspiring actors to stay true to themselves and their artistic vision. By developing one's unique voice and style, actors can stand out in a crowded field and make a lasting impact on the industry. In terms of future contributions, the landscape of the entertainment industry is constantly evolving with new opportunities and challenges emerging all the time. Actors can contribute to this ever-changing tapestry by pushing boundaries, taking risks, and exploring new forms of storytelling. By staying informed about industry trends and seeking out innovative projects, actors can help shape the future of the field. Collaborating with diverse artists and exploring diverse perspectives can also help create a more inclusive and equitable industry for all. In short, the legacy of Jeff Chandler serves as a testament to the power of talent, hard work, and dedication in the entertainment industry. By following in his footsteps and forging their own paths, aspiring actors can make their own indelible mark on the world of film and television. Born in Brooklyn, New York in 1918, Jeff Chandler embarked on a journey that would leave a significant mark on the entertainment industry. Initially pursuing a career in education, Chandler's passion for acting soon took center stage. After serving in World War II, he began his acting career on radio and quickly transitioned to film. In the 1950s, Chandler's innovative portrayal of Koch Eyes in the film Broken Arrow earned him critical acclaim and a nomination for an Academy Award. This role, along with many others, showcased his versatility and ability to bring depth and nuance to his characters. Throughout his career, Chandler appeared in over 70 films and television shows, leaving an indelible impact on the industry. His talent and dedication to his craft resonate with audiences to this day. Chandler's enduring impact can be seen in the way he challenged stereotypes and brought diversity to the screen. He paved the way for future generations of actors and filmmakers, inspiring them to push boundaries and explore new perspectives.
The power of creativity and perseverance is evident in Chandler's journey. From his humble beginnings in Brooklyn to his successful career in Hollywood, he demonstrated that with passion and determination, anything is possible. His legacy serves as a reminder that the arts have the power to bring people together, challenge societal norms, and inspire change. Without a doubt, Jeff Chandler left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Born on December 15, 1918, he began his career in radio before transitioning to film. Chandler quickly made a name for himself with his powerful performances and good looks. One of his most memorable roles was as Eyes in the 1950 film Broken Arrow, for which he received an Academy Award nomination. He continued to challenge himself with diverse roles, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Throughout his career, Chandler demonstrated a remarkable ability to captivate audiences and leave a lasting impression. His work continues to resonate with fans today, and his legacy is a testament to his talent and dedication. Now, we'd love to hear from you. What are your favorite memories of Jeff Chandler's work? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's celebrate his enduring impact on entertainment together. And if you enjoy our content, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the lives and legacies of the creative spirits who have shaped the entertainment industry.